Hi, I'm Nipuri Vijayalat and I'm working as a software designer for IFS R&D Financials. In this video, you will learn how IFS have automated the way of handling and tracking all incoming and outgoing payments within a day through a received electronic bank statement file, CAMPT 53. CAMPT covers bank to customer cash management reporting allowing banks and customers to use a standard way of reporting account information globally. Today, the focus is to get to know CAMPT 53 within IFS applications and to identify the convenience and benefits. During this video, you will witness how convenient it is to load and match the bank instruction file automatically and to complete the flow for a few types of transactions and also to record the payment and process with minimum amount of time in an efficient manner. For convenient understanding, let's look at a simple example. Let's assume this as our company and our payment institute and the bank account. Assume for this date, a supply payment order, a customer direct deposit and a bank fee have been incurred resulting in these account balances. The supply payment order is created via the payment method ISO 222 in IFS and the output file is sent to the bank to capture the transaction details. Bank will consider the given transactions for a given day and will instruct our company with the bank statement CAMPT 53. Let's look at the CAMPT 53 file we would receive from the bank. This is a part of the CAMPT 53 XML file we receive from the bank which is to be uploaded to the application in order to handle the transactions. In this XML file, supply payment order, customer payment, bank fee will be defined accordingly. In IFS, by defining the general matching parameters such as message codes, definition of identifiers, company identifier in external payment parameters page, it is possible to accurately read the loaded bank instruction file. In company identifier, define the company's bank account number. If it is required by defining the relevant company identifiers for more than one company or more than one bank account, you can load the transactions for multiple companies or multiple bank accounts through a single file. Transaction codes presented in the bank statement should be defined in the message codes to identify the transactions to be reported. You can see the message codes have been accordingly defined for each transaction type which are taken from the file we receive from the bank. Several matching options are given in IFS in order to automate the process as much as possible. Today, let's focus on the option Allow Automatic Matching. You can enable this to perform matching at the point of loading the file to the application. So, upon finishing the loading of CAMPT 53 file to the FTP in directory, transactions in the file will be automatically matched with the relevant items in the system and the records will be available in external payments page. Notice the record for the bank account is available with the correct opening and closing balances. Let's navigate to the transaction details and you will find the connected supply payment order, customer payment accurately matched and the bank fee is duly recorded. Now we can make the payment for all these fetch transactions through mix payment functionality in IFS. By creating a mix payment, it is possible to acknowledge the supply payment order, record the bank fee and the receipt of the customer payment in IFS. Check the actual opening and closing balances correctly fetched according to the file instructions. Transactions to acknowledge supply payment order, to record the customer payment and to pay the bank fee are attached to the mix payment. Within limited manual interventions, now we have automatically loaded and matched our transactions and processed the payments for a given day. This has enabled process automation, time and cost saving with enhanced flexibility. Thank you so much for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe IFS Insider YouTube channel.